yes, yes, rich rising, grand rising, even grander rising to y'all out there in Radio Land, Instagram world. We are tapped in and tuned in to the energies and the entity of Pascal Beverly Randolph this morning. I've been wanting to have this message for a long time. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> but <laughs> I've been very busy in the space of speaking directly to the goddesses, man. I realized that 2021 is a particular energy that I can't, I'm not going to like wish for it or hope for it. I know what I do. I know who I speak to and I know who I'm here to help. If you a low down scrub a dub rub a dub type energy, I'm not here for you. If you are a goddess and in tuning and tapping into your goddess frequency, I'm the man. I'm not I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm not I'm the man. I don't even know if that's a song, but it sounds like it could be or would be one day. Um so generally everybody that I talk to got Big Scorpio energy, big Sagittarius energy, <laughs> big Capricorn energy, and that's where we at. That's interesting. That's the facts. I I mean, shout out to all the Aries, and Gemini's, and Tauruses, and all of y'all doing y'all thing out here, making waves, making noise. But big Sagittarius, big Scorpio. Big Capricorn is in the building. If you ain't holding them frequencies, I can't talk to you in 2021. So if you having a hard time or a great time and you want an even greater time, the link is in my bio for my Patreon subscription. It's $50 a month. Now, $50 a month is a force to you. Do not sign up. $50 should be the equivalent of $5 when it comes to your budget. I want you to tune in, tap in with month-to-month -month readings. I'm going to keep track of all of the big Scorpio, big Sagittarius, big Capricorn energy that you into. If you're not into that shit, don't sign up. If $50 is a force or a flex, don't sign up. I mean, this shit should be so easy, right? month to month see i did this year a test run and things of that nature in 2020 that's what i like to do i rather if you want to get a reading for 250 don't do that get the patreon pay 50 dollars a month and get five readings right five a month at a time let's build and transgress even if you get the 250 maybe you don't maybe you want it all in one sitting and we sit down and talk for three, four hours, we still gonna have to talk again. Cause I am not going to be a reader that is just about to talk to you for one time and one time only. So I'm saying all of that cause that's what I was doing this weekend was doing my reading thing. And when I'm doing my reading thing, I can't do my Instagram thing. And I'm just like, well, shit, the Instagram thing don't pay the bills. So, you know, generally y'all going to have to wait for these messages. Ashe. So the message that we're bringing forth is a familiar. It's a if you listen to my channel, if you follow my content, then you know that this message is not unfamiliar to the message that I bring forth. And before we get any further, I just want to introduce myself. I'm the hood mystic and for now in the entirety of this video I'm holding space and being the constant reminder that you are in fact a spiritual being having a human experience to which that may sound like some hot shit but you haven't actually invested in your spiritual beingness because if you were to invest in your spiritual beingness, you would not have the questions into manifesting, into inner peace, into relationship, into prosperity, into anything. Because you are that for which you seek. So we're referencing big PB Randolph energy. Shout out to PB Randolph energy. 
entity, ancestor, guide, mm -hmm. big Baba energy, you understand? And we're going to reference art magic, okay? This is a book um, in reference to P.B. Randolph's teachings. Now, when you reference P.B. Randolph as an author, as an occultist, what you're referencing is the origin to what we're discussing. So everything that we reference in, in terms of astrology, occultism, esotericism, we didn't initiate those thoughts magically. It was a person who had traveled all around the world, collected all of this knowledge, and then came back to America and began to say, this is what's happening in India. This is what's happening in Africa. This is what's happening in Indonesia. This is what's happening in Australia. This is how I know because I went there. I seen it. I documented it. I have the records, right? So we're talking about Civil War time America and Abraham Lincoln had a black magician. That black magician was P.B. Randolph. And when you understand that, then you begin to understand the slow workings of esotericism rising up. So you might be tapping into a lot of, we just be tapping into a lot of Lincoln frequencies. Like, I didn't ever even know it was that many streets called Lincoln Avenue, Lincoln Street, Lincoln Road, Lincoln Highway. We just Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln. And it's just like, well, that's Lincoln an interest. Lincoln House. That's an interesting observation, right? Mm -hmm. So generally, when we observe these things, we document these things. And then we came to find out that P.B. Randolph and Abraham Lincoln were like buddies. They were homies. So we're going to reference art magic. And I want to keep this. I want you to understand what I'm saying. Now, understand that I am the space holder and political activist in the space of we are spiritual beings having human experiences. The people who propagate humanity over soul work are the problem, whether they're positive or negative, whether you like them or dislike them. So I want you to remove the concepts of like and dislike out of your mind. I want you to just understand the words that I am referencing. And if you want a post-reference or a pre-reference is every fucking YouTube video that I've done in 2021. So, and I didn't read this and then come to my videos. I did my videos and came to this like, wow, this is fucking amazing. Now you have my word and you have another person's words and hopefully their words will allow you to open up that door larger because the investment is not in your beauty. The investment is not in your money. The investment is not in your business. All of these things are manifestations of the true primal investment, which is in your spiritual beingness. Happy Sunday. Now, we're going to go down the line. I don't know if y'all see this. We're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to skip to seven. Now, if y'all want this book, this book is $17 on Amazon. It's Pasco Beverly Randolph. Just look for the orange book. And this has a compilation and a mix mash of a consortium of a lot of his work. So if you were to buy every book that he had, you'd be spending a cool grip. You know, you'd be dropping like five figures. However, if you want a cheap alternative, get this orange book on Amazon. Just Google Pasco Beverly Randolph. So art magic one spirit is the one primordial, uncreated, eternal, infinite, Alpha and Omega of being. And it's one attribute is will, meaning that it's one characteristic. What it produces is that of will. When you work with spirit, you develop a will. So generally, your will is automatic. Deve working with your primordial beingness, your uncreatedness, your eternalness, your infiniteness, your Alpha and Omega is. I'm making up words, but y'all got to follow me. Is the creation of your will. So what does that mean in reference to what people normally do? People generally engage with their will first. So I will fuck this hood rat. I will run the streets with my homies. I will be a delinquent. I will be a slob. I will be a fuck nigga. I will be a whole bunch of things, but you wouldn't even create that. You doing it backwards. So generally 
what we say on this channel, we tend to put our biology before our ideology, generally, because that would be the thing that will sustain us. Our ideology will kill us because our ideology will say, I will do destructive things. I will make excuses for those destructive things. I will participate in toxic relationships and I will continue to make excuses for me participating in those toxic relationships because you will not invest in your beingness. And I hope this is making sense. And I hope this is crystal motherfucking clear, right? So you can share, you can like it. You can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, right? Cause we doing it on Instagram, but we post these things on YouTube because we demonetize on YouTube. I'm not trying to be no partner with YouTube. I'm not trying to be no partner with Instagram. I'm trying to be a partner with you. And the partnership that I'm trying to create is simply to do one thing. And once you got it figured out, once you feel like you don't need me anymore, that's perfect. Because there is nothing else that I can do for you but give you a guide map, give you a GPS, give you a directional to the fact that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. And I'm going to just continue to hold this space for the duration of this video. And hopefully when this video goes off, you will continue to hold that space because in a moment's eye, you'll forget about it and you'll be on some bullshit like, fuck this. Mm -hmm. I hate this shit. This is some dumb ass shit. I hate this shit. I can't stand it here on earth. Why my mama got to act like this? Why my girl got to act like this? Why my kids got to be this way? And you will forget like that. I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. Number two, this spirit, this one primordial, uncreated, eternal, infinite spirit, which is you, which is you, <laughs> which is you is nothing external here. We all internal with this shit. If you hear vibrating on this frequency, then this message is for you. Stick and tap me in and stay tuned because you will never. I promise you never. Uh uh never find nothing more important than the fact that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. The spirit is God and God in his purest form is the central sun. It's nature meaning that its name, its identific identificational feature is that of spirit. Its attribute we got to get the definition of attribute, but we can understand the attribute when we doing our um, NBA 2K player and we design this attributes. That mean how good it is, how fast it is, how tall it is. So it's characteristics is that of will. But the first nature, the name of it. So you name yourself. Chauncey, you name yourself Kyrie, but that is not our nature. Our nature is that of uncreated, eternal, infinite being. So generally, that spirit is God. So generally, when we were born, your ch your, your parents should have named you God mm. in the flesh. Mm. And if your, ch if your parents didn't name you that, you got a long way to go to get back to its orig your original nature. And we're going to get into that in part three, but give me a second. It's attribute is will it's manifestations i mean after you engage with your spirit after you develop its attributes you embody in that you are a spiritual being having a human experience so that's not a catchphrase it actually has a manifestation this is why i know people don't catch up to what i'm saying they hear it and it sounds good but the actual manifestation of it, meaning the experience of it, is that of love, wisdom, and power. Okay? So generally, this is how we get back. This is how we tap back. This is how we understand that we are law of attraction. It is not something that we need to understand. It is something that we need to be. Be the law. I don't know if that's a slogan or if that means something to anybody, but I feel like that's something that could resonate with you and tap into your deeper soul and your deeper spirit. You must be the law of attraction, okay? Like I said, we're going to go one, two, three, and seven, and then we're going to end this video. Man, and then after this video is over, it's your responsibility to hold the space in your home, in your employment, in your altar space, whatever you're doing, hold the space. If you're tired or you need to go to sleep, hold the space that you are a spiritual being having a human experience, and that will create the natural will. That will create the natural manifestations. Love, 
wisdom, and power. Therefore, you don't have to wish and contrive and write and intend and hope and plan and, and, and oh, I want to do this. And if I don't do this, I'm going to be mad. Oh, I want to be with him. And if I don't be with him, I'm going to be mad. I want to be in this relationship. And if it ain't in that relationship, I'm going to be mad. No. That's that's baby shit. Okay? If anything, you don't know what you want. You intend to know what you want and how that manifests love, wisdom, power. Okay, number three, man before being born on earth. I love this part. I love this part. Take notes, write it down, hold this in your mental screen record, right? Don't forget this because if you forget this, you'll, you, you got to go back. And this is the part they don't teach you in church. This is the part that your mama didn't tell you. This is the part they ain't tell you in college. This is the part they don't tell you in your mystery schools. This right here is gold. Let's go. Number three, art magic. Pascal Beverly Randolph, Ashe. Man before being born on earth was already an immortal existence, a spirit, not a perfected, self-conscious, individualized entity, but a bright, luminous emanation of the divine mind. He was the divine idea in the shape of the man that should be. Angelic in essence, spiritual in substance, he lived in a paradise appropriate to him, pure and innocent, but still lacking in those elements of love, wisdom, and power, which can be perfected alone through incarnation in a material body and progress through probationary state. So I am at a different level than these conscious niggas where they still black and white. They still entertainment. They still what I'm watching on the news, what I'm watching on the entertainment. Please understand, I am above and beyond that shit. I will not reference race and gender any longer. I am a spiritual being having a human experience. I've existed before I was born and I will exist after I die. So the concept of my race or gender is scrupulous. It's ridiculous. It's a, it is like kindergarten when you're in the 12th grade. It may be true, but it does not matter when it comes to this algebraic function that we are now dealing with when you step up another level. So those who have eyes, may you see. Those who have ears, may you hear. And may you tap in and hold the space for you, yourself, and others with the reality that we are all, whether we know it or not, spiritual beings having human experiences okay so this is i said seven but i meant eight this is in reference to entities and energies who are not connected to the fact or do not have the fact right they may be five foot three spiritually and you're a hundred feet tall spiritually there's nothing that we can do about that but don't create a spiritual napoleon syndrome towards me which they don't. It's just a perpetuated media technological phenomenon to which if we were able to put our phones down and really commune in real time under the facts of spiritual beings having human experiences, then we would know exactly what to do when we trust our phones to guide us. To, to give us the right information that we are completely confused in this whole entire thing. And then the entities, uh, 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 deeper agents who control um, sort of like guardian and gatekeepers for information and things of that nature, it makes it worse. So number eight, there are no phenomena. I mean, no phenomena produced by disembodied spirits, which may not be affected by the still embodied human spirit. Provided a correct knowledge of these powers is directed by a strong and powerful will. Most of such phenomena are in fact the product of spirits of the dead. But some are caused by men alone with the aid of elementary. So generally, for some reason, we as a people have gotten out of and off of ancestor work. We really be out here 
in these streets, not tapped in and tuned in to our ancestors. Like we really feel as though this is how far we've come that we think that death is bad. But let's tie into a deeper memory. Before, before, before birth, you exist. And it's not a state of reincarnation. It's a state of perfection. Reincarnation is more of what people try to say when they don't know. And they try to manipulate and dominate the conversation because you don't know. I'll give you an example. It's this house here. You never been in this house. You ask me what's in this house. I say, don't follow the big white light and, you know, this, this, this that, and a third and Judah K. Killis and, you know, all of this type of weird shit, right? Because I don't know. And I'll just absorb the energy and then make it to be like, you know. But if I give you a corresponding and a different type of vibration, then I'm not saying that I know. I'm saying that I can feel that and I can understand that and that resonates with me. And what I'm saying, when people talk about reincarnation and Judah K. K. Illis's book and all of that shit, that shit does not resonate with me. I don't like it. It don't make sense. Motherfucker sounds stupid as shit to me. That's just my personal opinion. When Pasco Beverly Randolph says it simple and plain that you existed perfect and pure before you were born. That makes a lot of sense. And what will happen after you transition, you will take this experience and be able to take it all and put it together. However, the missing link, the missing point of creating reincarnation is the fact of saying that you exist before. Right. Because if you only exist after, then it's almost as if you never been here before. But the reality is that you have and you will and you do and you have control. This is why we are here today. We are here today to not be just a human. We are here today to be a spiritual being in the reality of listening to people propagate humanity in the space of spiritual development is their own ignorance it's like being in the third grade over and over again so if you listen to a person and his message and the same thing that he's saying is the same old shit then wouldn't that be relative to a person repeating the third grade and now when you look at that person that's repeating the third grade do you look at them as a genius do you look at them as a leader do you look at them as somebody that you should be taking advice from no you look at them as kind of polo tink tink you keep repeating the third grade you keep talking about black you keep talking about melanin you keep talking about the black woman and the black man you keep saying the same old shit so conscious niggas you are on notice. Step your game up. Elevate your conversation. Do not. Because the fact of people waking up every day, imagine yourself to feel like since it's, this is working, let me just keep doing this. No. I will always and continuously flip it up, switch it up and upgrade because I am not in control of this. I am a simple observer as a human of the divine parts of myself that have way more knowledge than a YouTube scholar. It is only an experience that I experience in the present moment that I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. I promise you, I was pulled from a cosmic level to Toledo to give offerings the same energy and space where Pasco Beverly Randolph transitioned. I didn't even know that until I went there. It's the same way as I wanted to share this message and I'll continue to share messages as they show up. But my message was you're a spiritual being having a human experience. And I thought I had no reference. But what I'm saying is that I'm under some form of a trance or some form of guidance by this man. And it is I don't know exactly. He's not the only person. But when you reference guides, you have a multitude of guides and your guides should put you on to new info. They shouldn't be telling you the same old shit like so conscious people. And those who seeking awakening and things of that nature. A teacher. Can only teach you for a momentary basis. 
But you should not, I mean, you should not rely on the teacher nor the teachings to validate or consummate your experience or your relationship with your divinity. There is no middleman. There is no intercessory. There is no reverend. There is no go between. There is no Anubian figure. There is just simply you and perception. You and in and, and processes. You in patience. You in silence. You in non movement. You in non thought. These things do not require anybody. It requires you to shut the fuck up. And listen to your higher self. And please do not question your experience because obviously you were out here putting your ideologies before your biologies. Because if you were always to listen to your heart, you would have never went wrong. But when you listen to that little... <laughs> that lower self constantly, repetitively, perpetually, then that's just what you manifest. Now the facts of... It's a lot of different ways that it plays out. So generally, I have to give an alternative side to your spiritual being having a human experience. Because generally, one would imagine that it's all rose petals and all nothing but manifestation. This is the key. This is the easy way out. Actually, no, it's kind of quite the opposite because generally you start to do the things that make you happy. Especially if you lived a whole life and developed a whole relationship or had a whole entire employment history of making other people happy. Oh, when you tap into the spiritual beingness of having a human experience, it's now time to make you happy. It's time to put yourself first. It's time to make yourself a priority. And everybody in your life will not like that, will not understand that because they are used to you putting them first. But the reality of you being the best person that you can be and giving the people the most that you can, you have to service yourself first because your heart and your mechanisms to your body do not leave your body to go pump somebody else's chest or to go encapsulate and re-encapsulate somebody's lungs. It works specifically and primarily for you, such as your individual soul, such as your actual process of individualization. Let's bring it back. I just dished you. <laughs> Number five, the process of individualization is not to be confused with reincarnation, which is a delusion. Number six. Man is a trinity of body, spirit, and soul. And the soul, having become individualized by incarnation as a human, at death, progressively gravitates to a fresh series of existences and purely spiritual realms of being. After death, men become God slash men heavenly men, strong and mighty powers, thrones, dominions, world builders, glorious hierarchies of sunbright souls, gods in person. I say to all of the ancestors, those known and unknown, because I promise you I was a dumbass. I promise you I was buying a fago and a black and mild and walking up and down the street back and forth from the library. And it wasn't not too long ago. I, w I can't even say I was a child. But when I was at my lowest, when I was at my rock bottom, I began to tap in and tune in to the ancestors and I never stopped. Why? Because they are God men. I don't I don't I don't I don't tap into the gods that were given to me. I tap into the gods that I know those who have transcended. And this is a very sad experience, but this is the most powerful experience that we could ever experience as human beings. The ability to contact and connect with our ancestors, period, point blank, end of story. God men, heavenly men and women, this is not gender specific, let's be clear. Strong and mighty powers, thrones, dominions, world builders, glorious hierarchies of some bright souls, gods in person. And beyond, beyond men and women, we are, because I started this off and we 
headed towards the end. So I have to be your friendly reminder and your friendly space holder that we are all, everybody in this room, everybody on this Instagram live are spiritual beings having human experiences. And it's so easy to forget, even a space of watching this video, you could have easily forgotten that. So it's very important that I remind you. This progress is never ending. Higher and still higher, ever stretching away where roads are made of stardust and paths are strewn with glittering suns, where time is no more and space is lost in infinity, stretching away into hemispheres where new sidereal heavens, oh, this man is speaking my language and speaking directly to my soul and speaking to everything that I reference even before I even knew he was even referencing this. He's saying it where new sidereal heavens form the boundary walls and gateways to new corridors of the universe wherein in there is none. I mean, end there is none. There is no end. This is a continuation perpetual growth process that we are continued to ascend. So if you reference and shit that was happening in 1960s, where segregation and black people versus white people and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and all of that energy. We just on different levels. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you got to repeat the third grade until you fully grasp the lesson that the third grade is presenting to you. And then eventually you guys will make it to the fourth grade. But have fun down there in your black and white paradigm and your man and woman paradigm and your USA China paradigm. Whatever paradigm you choose to focus and fixate on, you know, have fun with it because when it happens to you, it's going to happen to me. So regardless if you paying attention to this or paying attention to that, when the sun shines, it shines down on me and you. It don't pick and choose. So energy and biology is that. Trust me, your ideology is best served being far, far back in the recesses of your mind and let your biology, let your magnetism, let your will take over. Magnetizing. Number 11, we skipping. Well, let's go back to 10. Let's go back to nine. <laughs> there is progress in human affairs, but nonetheless, the accumulated wisdom and ages expressed in mythologies and religions in the Rosicrucian tradition has much to teach the modern world, especially about practical methods for communicating with the celestial and elementary hierarchies. Spiritism is the communication with these beings and art magic is the practical science of spiritism. Mediumship is essentially passive. Magic is active. The science of summoning spirits, spirits by method and controlling them by will. Number 10. The universe is pervaded by an all-encompassing fire or astro fluid or magnetism, which is the agent of all magic, which is in turn controlled by the will. So the will is the attribute. So you can either turn up your will or turn down your will, right? Magnetism is the most powerful means of achieving power and communicating with the hierarchies. The power of the will itself must be cultivated by exercise. So that's where I lose y'all at. That's where y'all giving up at. Because I just want to be magic easy. You know how many mounds we done walk to? How many portals we done cross? How much effort it takes? How much investment? How much gas money it takes to go out into nature? Today we going on a trip. For nothing. It's like what you do at your time, what you do at your energy. Are you spending time doing rituals, doing initiations in hopes to connect with your ancestors? Because your ancestors are not their bodies. They are spiritual beings that had 
a human experience. And once they transition, they transition into a place of power, magic, and wisdom. So your ability, see, this is the missing link for us. There are so many people who are imagining themselves to be alone and lost when they are, in fact, the result of ancestors. They are the result of spiritual beings saying, hey, you got to have this human experience because you need to be individualized. Here we are pure innocent but we don't have a balance we don't have a dark side we don't have a shadow we don't have a reason to exist and through life you develop that purpose you develop that will you develop that power and your ability to always have that and always be that is a fact now i'm asking you are you doing that actively are you doing that perpetually? Are you holding the space of spiritual beingness in yourself and in others? Or are you judgmental? Are you critical? Are you expecting them to hold this space for your spiritual beingness without offering them that same respect? I just feel fortunate and grateful to be able to share these moments with you guys and also spend time with my family and my friends uh, because that's what it's all about. I know that sounds cliche and I know that sounds crazy, but when you're tapped in and tuned in and you 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 understand the drastic nature of the world and how scared people are and how sick people are and how hurt people are and you personally aren't experienced this how deprived people are how neglected people are and you're not even experiencing it it naturally should make you want to be the person who sounds the alarm that it doesn't necessarily have to be the way that you imagine it to be. You have the ability to be magical. You have the ability to tap in and tune into all of the wisdom that the ancestors to provide. You have the ability to accumulate and assume all the power that your will can handle, right? And all you need to do is tap in and tune in to one simple message. And you need to hold the frequency even when you forget, right? Even when you forget, you need to hold the frequency. And what is that frequency? I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. And we'll get into the science of that in our crown chakra build, where we'll discuss the pituitary gland and everything that produces from it. So... I really appreciate you guys for tuning in and tapping in with me, um, but please sign up. And we also have pre-orders of Chakra Nova available. That book will be dropping May 23rd. So all of the products and all of the things that I do um, moving forward and generally that will lead you up to a space where you can firmly and confidently and matter of factly say that you too are in fact a spiritual being having a human experience so peace to y'all thank you for holding this space with me and continue to hold this space with your family and friends peace